Hey everyone and welcome to another video. So today we're taking a quick look at firmware version 05.20.07 on the LG C9 OLED. So this was pushed, I believe it was about a week ago, possibly 10 days ago, and it comes with two new updates for LG C9s. Now, I believe both of these updates were actually pushed to the CX or C10, as well as the C1 uh, series, possibly around a month ago. And originally it was thought that neither of these features would actually come to the C9. So in a way, it is actually a good thing to see that the uh, C9 is actually getting a sort of feature updates that some of the newer ones, uh, some of the newer models were getting. So the first one of those is actually listed in additional settings, I believe, and it's listed under the OLED settings and it's basically this bit here. Now, it won't actually show up right now because of the input that I've got it on. So it's not actually selected on any input. But essentially what this does is it allows you to fine tune dark areas with the OLED panel essentially. So it allows you to raise the dark dark areas. And this is mainly intended for game gaming. And what it does is any shadow detail, it allows you to just raise that up a little and hopefully get rid of some of those issues where you, you struggle to see some of the darker scenes uh, when using OLED panels um, and in particular the C9 because the CX and C1, they would have already had uh, these sort of adjustments built in. They, their game mode on the C1 in particular, as well as the C2 coming out later this year, is slightly different. They actually have a, a different pop-up menu, whereas the C9, because of the, the chipset that's involved with uh, giving it the 48 gigabits per second um, bandwidth meant that they've not been able to port those same settings across in the same way. So this is the first one where they've they've introduced this new setting here. And as I say, on the relevant import, so if I did actually have something connected, at the moment I've got it just on no import, and I'll come to that in a, re uh, in a second. Um, if it was on a import, so for example, if it, was, if it was on the PS4, PS5, anything like that, then it would actually give me options to adjust this and fine tune the, the dark areas of the screen. So this is essentially is raising your blacks in order to give you more detail in those areas. The other sort of update that came with it is, as you can see right now, it's on no import and we don't have the no import sort of uh, splash screen that you normally get. So on this, it now cycles through all of these lovely images. If this was mounted further up, obviously it would just look like a painting or something on your wall, mimicking the gallery effect of the, the G series. And the reason it doesn't have any horrible pop-up on top of that is because that's one of the options that they've added. And as I've said, this is something that they'd previously already added into the CX as well as the C1. Now, in order to bring it back up, all you do is you push the red button on the remote and it will pop back up. And then it gives you a little splash screen in terms of no import or not programmed or whatever the, the sort of relevant message would be for that particular import. So as you can see, this is how it used to be where this message, it used to actually be a lot bigger, it used to be about that size and it would be displayed in the middle of the screen all the time. So you have these lovely wallpapers that is cycling through, but you could never actually just enjoy those um, because you had this horrible pop-up. They then added this option on the newer models where you can just press the red button and it will disable that. And they've now brought it to this model as well. So once again, if I just hit the red button, as you'll see, it disappears. And now you can enjoy those wallpapers without having anything else actually distracting from the actual image itself. So in terms of whenever you're just switching inputs or if you've turned a, a particular device off, then obviously it will give you a much better image to look at rather than having that that no import label constantly there. Because if it's cycling through this, unless you've gone into gallery mode yourself, then you, being a, a sort of OLED owner, you know that it's, it's no import. You know what this means and you know why it's doing it. So you don't necessarily need that splash screen constantly telling you that. So yeah, that's the two updates that have actually come out for the LG C9. In between this and my last video, we have actually had a few updates, but they were all minor bug updates in the background. I believe one of them would have just have been an update for the actual apps. So there was a thing with some of the newer ones where they lost out on some of the sort of built-in apps, BBC iPlay in particular, I believe was one one that um, was removed in certain regions because of uh, licensing agreements and things like that. So th we have actually had updates in the past, but basically there was nothing really that made any major changes. They didn't give us any new features and they didn't really affect 
picture quality in a major way. That's why I never really made a video on these. With this particular one, what I'll do is I'll chuck on screen some splash screens of the sort of process of it being installed as well. And the first time when I actually went in and did the adjustment to turn that no input label off, that was basically what it gave us. Um, and that's what you would expect to see if you followed that process through yourself. Anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, I will have lots more videos coming. So if you haven't already done so, please do subscribe as well as hit the notification bell. Um, I'd really appreciate if you also give this video a thumbs up as well. It really helps other people see the video. And until the next one, thanks very much for watching.